Good morning, folks. <laughs> Dave Snyder here. It is uh, the 15th morning, I do believe, of June 2015. And I shouldn't even bring this picture up yet because I that's a, that was an after thing. Okay, see that? Okay, now what I did, this is the first thing I did this morning I, I, when I started working on this. I was looking at this picture on Wonder Maps um, right here, basically, because... I don't know if, if anybody remembers the videos I was making a while back, I don't know, probably close to two years now, um, of the Copernicus spot right here. I know that, that I say Maunder, but Maunder and Copernicus seem to be, to be the same spot usually, but, but this time it changes a little bit. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Okay, so uh, I know o over the Earth, or the Earth has some circular patterns that we just can't get around, right? You just cannot get around these areas. Let me show you here. First of all, you got this. This is a perfect circular shape over on the Earth. All this area, you can't you cannot say that's not a perv circle. Goes right around there. This is another one. Of course, you don't see one side of it, but it's there. You know, and you know it is deepest place on Earth. You have an edge here. Just goes around like this, and then you got this uh, Central Asia, which is like a perfect circle. On the land, right here, right, and then you got South America. It's got that same circle, right, right here, at the top, right. North America's got it right, right in here, right here. This, this circle, and they're all about the same size. You notice, all about the same size, right? You just can't get around that, actually. And, and then you got Australia, which is like a half circle right here. This is like half the same size circle. And then you got Antarctica, which is this exact same size circle, basically. Okay. And uh, the con the continents are made up of the, these circular patterns that are like that, all about that size. Okay. And I don't know. Let me see. Where am I going? Okay. So, anyways, I took that weather pattern that was here. This one. Uh, was here, and I was thinking, hmm, I'm, and I'm sure I've thought this before, and I've probably done the overlay before, but, you know, you take the moon, you look at the moon, and you go like this, you, just, you look at the moon, and, you're, and you figure, You look at the moon and you, and you just realize, I mean, you look at Imbrium, Mare Imbrium, the, the side that faces us today, we see it, we see Mare Imbrium, like this. This one right here, see that one? That's an interesting crater on the moon, people. I don't care what anybody says. That is an in, that's one of the most interesting features of the moon, is that, that, uh, they call it a, a sea, right, or a mare, or whatever they call it. A mare or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's still one big crater. It's at least one third the size of the moon, right? It's got to be one impact crater. This whole edge around the outside, this is from one impact. It has to be. There's no way around that. There cannot be any way around that. It has to be from one impact. And this could be part of it, but this is the center of it or something. This is the center, definitely the center of an impact. That circle, okay. And there's smaller ones that are that, are, that are show themselves to be smaller, but they're actually big too. Like this one here. Let's say this one. See that? That's the cer that's the center of the impact. And see all the lines that are hiding the shit. Okay. Well, the the big shadowy dark area is the actual whole area, just like over there. But it's it's been covered by more recent impacts. Probably, you never know. Maybe it hit the ocean. Maybe it hit the land. I don't know. But I'm just saying. They're like that, and you can see that they're, those lines are there to hide shit. I mean, look, if they put those lines on the side of the moon that you can see, right here, those lines are there to hide shit, and there's no way around that. You cannot get around that. We can see the side of the moon with the, from the ground with the telescope, and those lines are not there, people. Okay, so why does why do we get the lines on the, in the on the moon on the side of the Z? Why is that? Because they're hiding shit. Shit that you could reverse and flip over and align on the Earth. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Hmm. Doesn't figure, huh? I mean, NASA wouldn't do that, would they? Shit. Come on, people. We all know that. We all know they would. 
we all know they do. I mean, look at Google Earth forever. It's been forever changing, and, and it, it improves in its look, but it's it's just them finding new ways to cover up what the, what is really there. And in the land features I, I'm, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about like hiding little buildings and UFOs and shit. I'm talking about hiding the features of the, of the Earth, the geologic landmarks and things, you know, fingerprints, moon prints, basically. That's what they're hiding with this. And it's only, you can see, it's only in areas that are critical. They only do it in where they have to. Like this area right here, where they have to. This is over North America right here. This, part, this place this spot. This is over North America all the time. This whole pattern from here all the way over. That's the um, eye of horse right there and that's the cobra right there. And look at the lines through it. Because this right here it, and same with same with the, all these other areas that have the lines. All those areas. See this doesn't have no lines in it. You must not be able to do much with that, right? Okay, well then all this area, there must be areas where you can do something with it. That's why the lines are there for sure. Okay, so anyways, uh, back to the point here. Imbrium. Interesting. Very interesting pattern. Huge. One third the size of the moon. It, which is not small. The moon is not small like they say. I don't give a shit what anybody says. It just consistently shows itself to be bigger over the earth. I'm sorry. Look, at if this is a... If this is right here... It says 700 miles, right? 700 miles, okay. Well, you go back to the Earth. And if we just measure, um, measure the top. Let's see the screen flash in my, or screen save in my screen right now. Here we see Google Earth flash. That's what they're doing. And then you can see that this is one third the size of the Earth. The circular pattern is one third and from here to, let's say, right here, okay? That's the whole circular shape. It's one third, or you can just go here and do it here. Look at that. I mean, it's, it's one third the size of the Earth. That circular pattern is one third the size of the Earth. From here, go, here's one third, here's two thirds, here's three thirds, right? Basically, and it's the same on the Moon. I don't think the Moon and the, and the Earth could exist if they weren't balanced in size. I don't think that they they would have this relationship that they have if they were not the same size. That's, and I didn't even think that till long, just recently. I've actually come up with that. I mean, I've thought it was bigger all this time and seen the evidence that it's bigger all this time, but I just thought about it recently being it has to be that way, basically, for them to stay in their in, with their relationship connected to each other the way they do. They have, they cannot overtake each other. Neither, neither one, the moon, can overtake the earth, and the earth can't overtake the moon, but they do come together at some point, obviously. But they, you know, they're, they have to be the same size to stay in this, in this, with, in this relationship. They have to be somewhat similar in size, the way I see it. Because they work to get, they work against each other and they work with each other, it seems. They hold each other in, in some kind of weird orbit at, at certain times and they cause ice ages and they kill dinosaurs and they do all kinds of crazy stuff on Earth. They cause major floods and. They are a team play. They, they play together as a team. It takes the Earth to, to attract the moon, obviously. So it, it takes two to tango, basically. It's not the, not the moon going to destroy the Earth, or the Earth going to destroy the moon. They can't destroy each other. They can just destroy everything on each other, pretty much. So anyways, getting back to that, I overlaid this picture with the weather that I showed you earlier right here, this picture here with this weather over the um, my Google Earth I overlaid it right where I um, had a picture of Imbrium already up right Imbrium okay and it's this is a here it is one third size I, I got this circular pat you know Imbrium about the same size as you'd see right here okay why not because it has to be that size okay so anyway so I overlaid that picture of the weather and Central Asia over this right here like this see the circular it started basically right here start right here at the circle and you go around and you start right here basically at this spot look at this see that little spot okay it's pretty close to that area 
this this would be the spot right there, but it's close enough. I got it lined up to other things probably. And then I, I just kind of follow let that go around. At first I had this little circle right here with this little hump inside this area here. Where that circle and that little hump is there, and I had it there at first, but I didn't move it to try to get. I was trying to get this uh, at Copernicus right here because I know Copernicus goes right in this area of India. Right, pretty much where that spot is where it shows in India all the time I think okay so here's uh, here's what I did I just left it at this spot right here I just got tired of messing with it basically and uh, just left it there and oh I wanted to get this at, at the end I, I made sure to line this up right here see this see this weather pattern right here look see that crater that this as we all that, look at that there's a lot, this circular pattern with the line that comes out like this. That's, that's that crater. Okay, so, uh, and we can see it kind of looks right in that area there, right? There's something there. But anyways, I left it there. I just left it alone and said, okay, let's bring up some other stuff. I turned off the embryo, and I brought up the lunar south pole. And I didn't really see a whole lot, but I didn't... You know, it's there. It's something there. There is something there. Check it out. Okay, so here is the lunar south pole reversed over this area. And first of all, I want to point out that uh, within a m month, last month and a half, I've seen right here in this spot uh, the Schrodinger crater in the weather perfectly. Just about a month and a half ago, I made a video showing it. So it's documented. It's right there. So it's pretty close to that spot, but I think that I had this part over this down this way more. But it's uh, anyways, it don't make, make any difference because this one doesn't have to line up. But anyways, it kind of does and it kind of doesn't. Let's back it off, take a look. I don't know if you see anything, but I can kind of see these two craters up here in this in the weather pattern just a bit. See right there? Look at that. See that? And then you see something else right here. So that's there, that's definitely there, something's there. And you can almost see this one here with the little, but anyways, let's get past this. So this one fits okay in a couple of areas anyway, right? And uh, then we get down to Mare Oriental. Bring up Mare Oriental. Okay, so that, it just happens to line up on the edges, all on its own. See how this, see how that is? Now, I didn't adjust this to that or or the other picture at, at all these are set in place and anybody who watches my videos knows that I don't move these pictures this one or the other one they stay right where they are at all times if they move out kill myself okay so anyways <laughs> so anyway I'm not gonna do that I'm just saying that's that's how serious I am about leaving these where they are today okay now I went through this picture and it was kind of hard to see at first you know there's some it was I mean, not really that hard for me, but to try to find something that other people are going to see clearly and easily is difficult sometimes these days. I don't know why. But not, it's not that hard if you just open your mind. Anyways, uh, one thing I got, I started to notice towards the end of my uh, look in here was this part of this pattern, right? In here, and usually this doesn't, I don't see much in this area. But look at this weather. And the texture right there. You see that? And then I started looking closer. Look at this point. See this point right here? Look at this. When you back it up, you see that point. You see all of this other stuff, but then you see that point real clear. See that? Ooh, that dark, look at that. That dark area right there? Look at this. Holy shit. That's pretty good. And then you got this uh, from this point over to here. Which is like a clear area, but you got something there. You got this whole thing goes across right there. It's not exactly right there, but right to this point. But it's something that starts in the right place. You see where it starts right here. It, it starts in the right place, and, and that's definitely you've got that point below it. And then you come over here, and you got this point that comes up like this, to this point, and then back down. Check it out. I mean, I see some similarities there. And then you got this point right here. See this area right here? Look. Watch. I 
and then like I said this this line lined itself up all on its own because I got it. see when you get things in the right place and you start stacking things up you start to get things in the right place like I it took me a long time to know where things have to be right and uh, and it doesn't always work out all the time but most of the time it does look at this right here right here watch and you can see this line it goes across right here look and that point is there like I said look at that point I mean it's right in place and this this is right in place right here I mean, you definitely see something there, right? Especially the texture of this weather right in here. You see that line? It's the same texture. I mean, and I, like I said, I aligned this picture to that embryo picture only. I didn't, they don't, you know, I, you, I always align to one picture. And then when, then I bring up the other pictures that I've already had in place for, a, damn, going on, you know, almost a year, some of these pictures like Mare Oriental's got to be at least six months at least seven months probably maybe more and you can see like over here you see this texture here pretty close to being in place you got the Caspian that, that's shaped just like this area right here the moon look. right in here look I, I guarantee you the moon is not small people I mean it's if you even if you don't see what I'm trying to show you here, and I know some of you do, people that watch all the time, they know they know that that stuff cannot be coincidence. That that pattern is the same right there for sure, no question. And for me to just be lining this up to Imbrium, which is lined up to, who knows what I lined? I can't remember what I lined Imbrium. Oh, I lined it to California one day. <laughs> so I mean, it has nothing to do with this uh, this area. So anyways, for it to just fall into place on its own that way, it's, it's proves something. I didn't line that up with the, with a Mare Oriental picture. I did not. So uh, I think that's important. Let's just go through and see what else we got to put up with that somewhere. Maybe something like um, let's try this. What do we got here? I want to see how this fits in there. Okay, the first off, what I see right here, because this goes in here somewhere. There's like a big supercontinent, and it's not, I'm not putting it all together right now. I'm just saying, that you see how this kind of has this edge right there? It just falls into place there somewhat. Now, I would say that uh, it's pretty close. This You can see this, this edge here, like right in here somewhere, right, right in there. Right there. Let's see what else we got. Close there. And Schrodinger. Let's see, I put Schrodinger right here, which was, is really close to where I seen it that one day in the weather. Right, that was, which was right here, right there. It's pretty damn close. And it's hard to say, you know, this is a picture of Antarctica. Of course, we know it's got ice on it, so really, we can't really go by that too much. Um, as far as the, what's on the land features, anyway. Same as the Colorado Plateau right there. So it's, it's right there. Sometimes you get lucky and you turn these on and you'll see something just totally line up, man. It's just unbelievable when that happens. Grand Canyon Basin. Okay, let's see what happens here. That's a hard one to see. 
that's a hard one to use actually too. Oh, I think I know what we need to do here. And that's turn on perfect Africa. Hmm. Another thing I'd like to point out is this uh, weather pattern. It's Antarctica shaped all over the place. This is uh, in the Gulf of Alaska, pretty much you see. And it's the same shape as Antarctica as well. And uh, it has the big circle in the center, which is how they used to show. See, here's Antarctica. It, see how it fits right in there pretty well. And I didn't align these two together. They're just. Uh, this one I just found the other day, and it's, it's an older picture, actually. Um, but I didn't, it hasn't been that long since I put it up there, but it's an older picture. Because it's, the weather's different now. They don't have the weather like this anymore, like this. So I know it's an older picture. I was probably just going through my pictures. But see the circular pattern in the center? They call this the Pacific Blob over here in the, in the Pacific, in the Gulf of Alaska. They call it the Pacific Blob. There's there's a hot spot in the in the Gulf of Alaska that's big and circular just like this. I don't know if any of you, any of you remember, but they used to give you a big clue right here at the bottom of, at the at, in, in Antarctica that big circle pattern that was always there. Okay, that's 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 why that's there in that picture because that's what's there or what used to be there or something something like that. And this is you'll see this. Uh, the shape with the circle in the center all over the earth all over I'll show you right now black hole black hole picture is a good example yeah I'll just turn off these ones here <coughs> turn these off and turn the black hole on and various others I got many here's a here's one right here I think okay you barely see this is the Gulf of Alaska but see the circle right here See that big circle? It's like a perfect circle in the weather with this little tongue that comes out. That's how it looks. Okay, that's that's it right there. That's what you look for. But here's a um, the black hole picture I use all the time. I show another one. I got several up here, but it's just finding them, and I don't want I don't want to take up all your day. The circle with the tongue that comes out right here. See that? And this is the shape of Antarctica as well. I just don't have it lined up to, to Antarctica at the moment, but that's the shape of Antarctica too, as I showed before. The muffin shape. See the muffin comes down like this. That's Antarctica people right there. See it? The muffin shape. So it's like that. It's like a muffin cupcake. So does that. See it? This is in the Atlantic Ocean up right over here. I've right, seen this right here. Right over the Azores, basically, pretty much in this area. So there is an Antarctica pattern showing itself right there. That's the shape of Antarctica. That weather pattern is now. If now you could think that maybe it started down here in Antarctica, and that weather pattern moved up. <laughs> See how it is? Antarctica is way down here. It would have had to come all the way from down here all the way up to the northern northern hemisphere and stop right there to see it for me to see it that way so I mean that's this is all over the earth this, this circular pattern this is a hot spot this is believe me this is a continent building hot spot right here that's a continent builder all of Antarctica was built by this hot spot that is right it looks like this so it could be right underneath Antarctica right now that's why the hole was there it used to be there right it could be that's where it could be poles could be, I mean, when maybe when the poles flip, the, one of them gets hotter, I don't know, but I'm just saying, this is all over the earth, this circular pattern is all over the earth, that's the size of the eruptions that builds the continents, right there, I mean, you got little volcanoes everywhere, all, all over the earth, but these ones are like this, see how this cove is right here, well, that's the center, and here would be this, right here, god damn it, <coughs> do this right here, 
And like I just showed you that in the Gulf of Alaska, you'll see it right there, right there in the Atlantic. And I seen it the other day over here in the United States, North America, right over here somewhere. I seen seen it the other day. So I just want to point that out. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. Oh, the dragon's back too. On one of the maps, you can see the dragon. <laughs> this is a uh, the dragon right here. This part right here. Okay, anyways, long enough. Everybody have a great day.